Beyond Outrage. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters January 3rd. I'm Robert Wolanski, and I'm here to tell you about the latest film from Japanese directing great Takeshi Kitano. It's called Beyond Outrage, a sequel to a film called Outrage. We begin with a rather surprising development. Takeshi Kitano's character, who we thought was killed at the end of Outrage, is in fact not dead at all. This is a film about clashing cultures. This is a film about pinstripe suits being worn by young men who are trying to seize control from old men in their traditional robes. Old men with their chopsticks and their sake and their sushi. This is a film in which gangsters are trying in some ways to go legit, only to find out that it's still more profitable to do bad things. I will say this, Beyond Outrage does contain one of the most extraordinary scenes of violence you will see in film this or any other year, and it involves something as simple as a batting cage and a pitching machine. <laughs> Takeshi Kitano was best known for his gangster films, Boiling Point, Zatoichi, and Fireworks amongst them. Those are the films that really made him what he is in Japan, a household name as a matter of fact, especially as a director and an actor, under which he goes by the name Beat Takeshi. <laughs> There's a reason Beyond Outrage premiered at the Venice International Film Festival. Takeshi Kitano is one of the great filmmakers working today. And Beyond Outrage is evidence of the fact that he is still at the top of his game. So if you like your thoughtful films about violence, if you like gangster films that aren't all about gals, goombas, and gold chains, then I would highly recommend that you see it beyond outrage. Beyond Outrage. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters January 3rd.